I'm going to start by reading this sentence out loud as written. Lured by the promise of easy riches, many 49ers left behind families and farms. They hoped that they would be able to return once they had become wealthy men. That sounds fine to me, okay? It's not the right answer, but it sounds fine. And that gets to what this question is actually testing, fragments and run-ons. This is not a question about what just sounds the best. It's a question about grammar, and we need to recognize that because they are messing with the punctuation in a couple of the choices. So that is a clue. We need to predict the question, recognize that the punctuation matters, recognize that punctuation is really a sign that sentence structure matters, and think about how the sentences are constructed. In choice A, we have a run-on sentence. Both the beginning part and the part starting with they hoped could be their own sentences that stand alone. We are not allowed to join those two things with just a comma. We would need something extra. So in this, in this case, there's a couple of ways that they like try to fix it. We do know that in choice B, a semicolon is used to join two complete sentences, but they kind of overcorrect. They use the conjunction and as well, and we wouldn't want to use both the semicolon and the and. If we wanted to just use the and, we could and use the comma that's already there, but the semicolon, we would just kind of treat it like a period and just insert it where uh, where the comma is in choice A. It's very confusing, that's kind of the point. Now in choice C, we have a big problem. We have no punctuation at all, and there definitely needs to be some sort of break here. And so choice D fixes everything. It uses a comma, but in doing so, it changes the second part so that it is no longer a sentence. So just to be clear, look at what we have when we put that in. Lured by the promise of easy riches, many 49ers left behind families and farms. That's a complete sentence. I could end that thought right there. But now if I use choice D, I'm adding on something that by itself could not be a sentence. Um, hoping that they would be able to return once they had become wealthy men. It's long, but it's not itself a sentence. It requires an attachment to an actual sentence, and that's what the comma is doing here. It's showing the break between the real main sentence and this extra clause of information. And so that's one way of fixing run-on sentences is to just turn one of the sentences into a clause. Know that they're testing punctuation and that punctuation is about sentence structure, and you won't fall into the trap of just picking the choice that sounds best.